Hi everyone, it's Bonnie. I want to quickly show you how to create this flower using our Festive Flower Builder Punch. What I did, I take our punch, I punch out eight of the large petals, five of the medium petals, two for the middle, and two for the very center of the flower. I also punch out two in Emerald Envy to be shown here as the leaves. Once I've punched them out, I take all the petals and I just fold them in half and with my fingernail, I just crease them. You can use a scorer if you want to, but in this case, I just folded them in half and used my finger. The next step that I did is I just took my scallop circle punch to create a base because I find it's easier to create my flower if I have some kind of base. You can use a circle, um, whatever you wish to, but in this case, I just grabbed for my scallop circle punch. It just happened to be there. I started one already, um, and what I did is I take my fast fuse and I just randomly do um, some of the adhesive on the bottom and then I put down the four petals. My next step I found using glue dots was easier. So I take the glue dots and I'm just going to put them in between each petal. So you can see you're just filling in the gaps. I'm hoping this is bright enough in here. The sunlight was giving me a lot of shadow, so I turned off the video. So let's see. So as you can see now, oops, this one didn't get a glue dot. Okay. So now I have that part of the flower is done. Can you guys see? Oop, that one missed a glue dot too. And they all missed glue dots. Okay. So you can see now how my flower, I went in between each petal. So you're just going to do that again with the second layer and you're going to go in between. Now this is the smaller of the petals, this is the medium sized one. And again, I'm just taking the glue dot, putting it on the back and this one I'm going to make it more like a star, five point star. So as you see, I'm just going around, some lay on top of each other, some lay on in between each other. It's just to give some dimension to the flower. These glue dots are not working today for me. Here we go. And here we go for the last one. So you can see now my second layer is on and with the glue dots you're able to maneuver them if you don't like how it looks. So there's my flower. Now the center one, the two-piece one, again I just took it, folded it in half and creased it. I'm going to take glue dots, put two on this one, semi in the middle there. And you just go like this, press it down. And then I'm going to do that again. Oops, this one I didn't increase. So again, just fold them in half. You can use sponges if you want to, to make it a little bit more dramatic. Um, I did it for my card class and everyone seemed to be very happy with it. Just looking, you know, playing no distressing on it. So there's that. And you're just going to put that there on these. I did the same thing. I'm just gonna do glue dots. I love our mini glue dots. They are a must have for all crafters because for the, all these little tiny things, it works out just perfectly. And then you're just gonna go like that. So now my flower is right there. And I'm using our metal rimmed pearls. And I'm gonna take one out. And let's see what we got. Put that there. And there's my flower. And then my green envy, or emerald envy, sorry. And let's see, we'll put one there. And then we'll put one there. So here's my flower for my card and the finished product. So see, there's the back. So you can just see how I did it so that you have the little base there. It makes it much easier to handle and maneuver around. And again, I use the glue dots because I love glue dots. And then here's your finished product. And I also made one just to show you in the vertical. Happy holidays. Bye.